Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another college video. I know you guys really love those. Oh god, my nose it just Today's video is going to be kind of like a how to not die in college Q&A type thing. I asked you guys for a couple of college questions and a whole bunch of you sent some in and I also found some off of my other videos. I am in my senior year of college. I'm about to start my senior year so I've been through this for three years now. Still not an expert but like I've got a lot of this shit down. So I guess if anybody's gonna talk about college and advice and stuff, it might as well be me. Without further ado, let's just jump on into this video. I have the questions on my phone here and we're just gonna talk about how you like don't perish. The very first question that I have is how to choose your major. I am probably not the best person to ask about this. I have changed my major twice. I started off as a graphic design major. I really like graphic design and I love creating like logos and stuff like that. However, I just didn't like the way that ASU taught the program, so I decided to like ya yeet out of there. And then I switched to a digital culture major and then I did a complete pivot. I pivoted to psychology and now I'm a psych major. Yeah. How to choose your major. Um, basically I would just kind of find something that you're interested in. If you know you're interested in something in high school, then start with that. And if you don't like it, you can always change your major. I recommend changing sooner rather than later, just because sometimes your classes don't always transfer over. I know a lot of people that have changed their major and ended up needing to stay an extra year. So just be careful when you're doing stuff like that. Don't pick a major just because you think it's going to make you money. And also don't pick a major because that's what your parents want you to do or anybody else wants you to do look inside yourself really like reflect on what you want to do with your life because that major is gonna be it's gonna be it you can always go back to school but uh student loans so the second question is how did I adapt my first year honestly there wasn't much like adaptation I guess. I was in the dorms my freshman year so I had a whole lot of friends that I kind of could like figure out all my shit with. We literally like had no idea what we're doing. I still don't know what I'm doing. However, it's fun. Don't put too much pressure on yourself. Take lots of naps. That's honestly like my freshman year I took so many naps. Do you use textbooks? This is a question that I feel like I get a lot and the answer is really it depends. I would not recommend buying your textbooks until the first day of class unless your sp professor specifically says that you need the book on the first day of class. I, bro. I have had professors that have assigned a book because they were like required to or something like that by the department and I walked in on the first day of class and they were like yeah the book's totally supplemental you don't need to read that shit don't buy it and I was like cool just saved 100 bucks how do you stay on top of assignments so my number one thing is a planner I talked about this in my college essentials video I literally use my planner every single day I write down every single assignment that I've ever had assigned in there so I can keep track of all my due dates and then I can also do like time management stuff as well so I know exactly what's due that week. I know what times I have to work. I know what times I have to like do other things. I know what times I have plans with people. I literally like look at my week in advance and then delegate when I can do things. I like write down specific times as well because I'm super smart like that. And then don't procrastinate. I once wrote a 12 page paper in one night and I can tell you that that sucked. I think I had probably like four Red Bulls and three mental breakdowns. Organization tips. This is kind of similar to the whole planner thing. Clean your room, I guess. Don't take on projects. Don't take on hanging out with people if uh, you can't get your shit done. It just sometimes takes a little bit of getting used to. It's honestly more of a habit than it is like a challenge. Are classes big or does it depend? So at ASU, your gen ed classes are probably gonna be super, super big. They're probably gonna be lecture halls with like 400 plus people. However, as you get closer into your niche and as you get closer to the end of your major, your classes are gonna start to slim down. How do you meet a boy or a girlfriend outside of a bar setting? Honestly, I couldn't tell you the last time that someone came up to me and was like trying to date me at a bar. Most guys and most girls that like go to bars and like talk to people, I think it's mostly just to hook up. <laughs> For me at least, most of my like boyfriends have come out of friendships. Meet people in your classes, go on study dates, like literally do a whole bunch of things 
things and just like hang out with people. Don't try to force things. Online dating has never really been like a big thing for me, so I can't say that I recommend that. I had someone ask me to go have Z's on a baby. Do not recommend. The best way to meet people is to not try to meet people. <laughs> Get to know people naturally. And then if a relationship comes, then a relationship comes. But don't try to like force anything because then it just kind of gets screwy from there. How to have fun dating and avoid hookup culture. So this is actually a really good question. A lot of times college is kind of known for the fact that like a lot of people like to mess around. To avoid hookup culture, honestly sometimes it's kind of unavoidable. You will meet people that will kind of just want to like... They're gonna want to toot it and boo it, ejaculate and evacuate. Really what you just have to do is know what your standards are and know what you're planning to do and if someone starts showing you red flags and just kind of like mix skirt out of there, just don't do anything you're not comfortable with. Hookups aren't bad. I'm not shaming hookups. It's just if you're not trying to hook up, it can be kind of hard to meet people sometimes. As I said before, just know yourself, know what you're willing to do avoid red flags. It might take a little bit longer if you're not trying to hook up, but you will get there eventually. Someone says they literally feel so alone at college and have no idea how to change it. So my first tip for that would just be to like get involved more. Join a club, join a study group, talk to your classmates. If you just sit back and kind of like wait for people to come to you, it doesn't always happen that way. I know it's kind of hard, um, especially if you have anxiety or if you're just more of an introvert. Forcing yourself to do it does really help. How to balance school and work. Time management is really hard. Really, you just have to know exactly what you have to do, when you need to do it, when you have time to do it, and you have to actually sit down and be disciplined enough to get shit done. How do you avoid the freshman 15, bro? <laughs> Dorm food is not the healthiest food. And most of the time it's unlimited, so you can eat as much as you fucking want. However, that is a problem when you're trying to not gain weight. My best recommendation is don't eat out all the time. Pick the healthiest options that you can, and also know when to stop discipline. Also get yourself a gym membership. If your school doesn't have a free gym that you can go to like ASU does, then get yourself a cheap one just anywhere that's close by campus and then just go and work out and then you can eat more. How do you have fun when you're broke? This has to do with a couple of different things. I know some people don't like having jobs in college. However, I would really recommend it because it looks fantastic on a resume and you get money out of the deal. So what's not to like, you know, besides the actual like working part. Just don't always do things that require spending money. I literally will have like board game nights at my house sometimes. We have rock band on the Xbox. We have Cards Against Humanity. We'll like invite a whole bunch of people over and just like hang out and drink and play games. And that doesn't even really require money. All you have to do is buy the alcohol and you don't even need alcohol. Also, look for deals and bring your student ID everywhere because your student ID will get you discounts at so many places. How to motivate yourself. I struggled with this for a hot minute, actually. Um, I was one of the most unmotivated people ever. However, I just kind of like told myself I needed to do the shit and then it turned into a habit. I know that's a pretty shitty tip. Motivation is hard because it's a little bit different for everybody. So just find out what works for you and run with it. How to find internships. More than likely your school is going to have internship fairs. I've never actually had an internship so I'm probably not the best person to ask about this. You can google like internships near me and then like indeed will pop up and you can like kind of search through them that way. And the best part about college. This is the last question. I honestly think the best part about college is like being able to hang out with people. It's kind of like a weird adult limbo. You're an adult and you can be by yourself and you can do things on your own, but you still have like the chance to like sit back and get messy if you want to. I know that's kind of like a weird a weird thing. I hope you guys know what I'm talking about because you get the parts of adulting that are fun. 
but then you also don't have to completely deal with all of the adulting issues quite yet. I hope you guys enjoyed this little like how not to die in college Q&A type thing. I hope you guys got some good tips from it. Um, if you have any more questions, drop them down below and I will do my best to answer them in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also follow me on Instagram if you guys haven't yet. I am way more active on there. And then I also post polls and questions and stuff like that for you guys to kind of talk to me about what you guys want to see on my channel as well. So that's probably the first place you should go after subscribing. I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. I can't wait to leave this town Cause lately I've been feeling down The cold nights just don't feel the same Oh